In 2015, the United Nations established 17 sustainable development goals with an eye on 2030 to make them real. The goals target poverty, hunger, health, sustainability and the world's environment. In 2045, the UN will be 100 years old with the hope that by then, these SDGs will be a way of life for the family of nations around the planet. But political ideas are not economic realities and without the global business community and its potential to drive and innovate, progress will be painful. That is the essence of Vision 2045. Greta, thanks very much for doing the interview. Have you seen business and industry change at all since the creation of the, of the SDGs in 2015? Yes, I really have. And I think uh, in uh, several ways. First of all, the SDGs, the process, they cost awareness. Uh, and it's a global agenda. So everyone... I think has been invited in with a stronger understanding that we are in this together. Also the businesses. So I've seen single businesses have sort of adapted their strategies to the SDGs. They have uh, rebuilt their story about what they're doing and why, but also of course put it into a business context. So uh, when it comes to greening the economy, also to ensure better social inclusion. We see more of that, but still we need to see so much more. And what have we learned looking at the engagement since this, if you like, this challenge was, was put towards the world back in 2015? What's, what do we know now about what needs to be done, the priorities uh, to achieve the better world for the Vision 2045? We really see how hard it is to get our acts together. We know we need better policies, better regulations, better financial incentives to go green, to be more socially inclusive, to actually define what success is. We cannot, I think, accept that sustainable business is not taking all three into consideration, the financial the environmental and the social requirements. Why do you think that goal nine is this, this central SDG of them all? Our mandate uh, from the General Assembly of the UN covers infrastructure, covers procurement and project management. So clearly uh, that's an important goal to us. When we hear a number of businesses call for bankable projects. That's actually been what we have been doing through the 25 years we have existed. We have been working mainly with public sector partners, but for us, it really makes sense to cross over and work with a private sector too, because we know that implementing the SDGs will require new partnerships, and also partnerships that can bring new funding and bring the projects to scale. Have you seen the private sector in the last five years starting to take on board things like SDG number nine in the way they do business? Can you see a, an engagement with the ideas behind that? Of course, uh, the COVID uh, pandemic has caused delays, but UNOPS has engaged with government as well as uh, private sector partners in a number of countries on affordable housing. Actually, the scheme that we are building in a number of African and Asian countries show, first of all, the need, but also the great interest from private sector partners. And I think these kinds of new partnerships are really important. Looking at the work you're doing now and looking ahead to perhaps to 2045, how optimistic are you? Do you see a version of the world where we get it right? We can't afford not to do whatever we can to make things work better. And that was why I joined UNOPS in the first place, because I think UNOPS 
is an organization that is actually well suited to broker this uh, interaction between public and private sector that can drive innovation, that can find new ways. So actually what UNOPS can do to break down some of those silos is what makes me tick every day. And I think there are, wherever we work, so many opportunities and let's go after them and do things better together. Great. Uh, thanks very much indeed for, uh, for joining us. Great talking to you.